Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good evening, I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. It's been a cold day with that fresh snow on the ground and cloud cover in the sky. We are going to see our clouds decreasing tonight as a cold front moves through, and that's really going to open our, us up to some pretty cold temperatures. We'll get a northwest wind in here. Of course, the snow stays on the ground, and so for tonight, it's going to be quite chilly, and we really don't warm up tomorrow or Tuesday as the clouds move back in starting tomorrow, and they'll stick around through Tuesday with mostly cloudy skies. Now, as far as future track goes, the cloud cover that we have right now is trying to push out of here, and it should do that by uh, probably midnight or a couple of hours after midnight, and then skies will become mostly clear. There is the cold front moving through throughout the overnight hours, and that's when the northwest winds will pick up. We do start off sunny tomorrow, but heading into the afternoon, that cloud cover pushes back in from the west, and so we become mostly cloudy once again, and it does look like that cloud cover sticks around all the way through Tuesday. Here's a look at the winds, and uh, as we see, they become northwest as the cold front moves through. It's not going to be a really strong wind, about 10 to 15 miles per hour, but that northwest wind is going to pull in that cold Canadian air, and it's going to interact with the snow on the ground and the lack of cloud cover in the sky to give us some really cold temperatures and very cold wind chills. Here is right around midnight. Should be in the single digits by then. And then heading into tomorrow morning as we wake up and head outside to head off to work or school, our wind chills are going to be right around zero degrees for a lot of the viewing area. Certainly single digits, probably between zero and five degrees for most of us. Could be below zero in the north as well. That's where temperatures for tonight will drop down to about 10 degrees, even upper single digits off in the northwest there. Heading into tomorrow, our wind chills remain in the teens, so we don't really warm up to start off this work week. But as far as tonight goes, here's our air temperatures. 9 degrees expected in New Hampton, 10 for Waterloo, and most of us will range between 10 and 15 degrees. As the skies become mostly clear with that northwest wind, snow still on the ground by tomorrow, and so we can't really warm up even with a little bit of sunshine in the morning. And we'll see our high temperatures in the mid to upper 20s, a little warmer in Washington where there's less snow on the ground. City by city forecast will show temperatures staying cold on Tuesday with more cloud cover, mid 20s there as well. And then heading into the middle of the week, we start to get some signs of some more warmth, upper 20s and low 30s with partly cloudy skies for Wednesday. Then in your 10-day forecast, it's a pretty nice warm-up once we start to melt off that snow. By the end of the week, we should be back to about 40 with a stronger south wind. Even a little more cloud cover on Friday, so we'll call it mostly cloudy there. Lows back into the 20s. Saturday, a minor chance for some rain and snow. Shouldn't really accumulate anything there. And uh, we do see a bit of sunshine by the end of the weekend and early next week. Temperatures hanging in there, upper 30s and low 40s, but by Wednesday... A couple of days before Christmas or Christmas Eve, it does look like some snow will be a potential, and some of that could accumulate. We'll have to see what happens with that system still a far ways out. I just want to give you a heads up. We could, it's a possibility, see a white Christmas.